Hi friends, today we are going to solve greedy florist problem from the greedy algorithm part. The given problem statement states that a group of friends wants to buy a boutique of flower, a bucket of flower, I cannot pronounce it. The florist wants to maximize his number of new customers and the money he makes. To do this, he decides he will multiply the price of each flower by the number of that Customers previously purchased the flower plus one. The first flower would be at original price, which is basically zero plus one multiplied by original price. And the next one would be one plus one multiplied by original price and so on. Given the size of group of friends, the number of flowers they want to purchase at the original prices of the flower, determine the minimum cost to purchase all the flowers. The number of flowers they want equals the length of the array. So this is the basic problem statement. This is a very medium level kind of problem, but I think the only reason this is a medium level is because the problem statement is not clearly defined. But if you look at the examples, you have to read through the problem statement, I guess two or three times to understand the gist of it. Let's take some example. Let's take some input cases. So three, I guess. Okay, K. So this three is basically total number of customers and two, five, six is the price of the flowers that are present here. Our job would be to purchase all the flowers present there. So if three customers purchase the price once, for example, one customer purchase this price uh, flower at say two the other will be purchasing flower at five and the third one would be purchasing the sixth flower first time so basically it would be the original price so the total value would become 13. here is in one similar case but here total number of customer present here is two but the total number of flowers present here is three so here at least one customer must purchase one flower twice and he then we have to increase as you know the the flower is a bit greedy so if this same customer has been repeated twice he would be increasing the price by one plus one multiplied by original price which would be the twice the original price so one way of doing it is that we could sort the entire value in say descending order so our value would become six five and two so the first customer would basically purchase the flower look uh, when customer equal to the first customer price uh, purchase the flower at the original price which is zero plus one multiplied by six equal to six then the second customer would come and he would he would be purchasing the flower at the original price which would become five equal to five but again when the first customer gets repeated the flowers should increase the price by a factor of one so basically it would become multiplied by two the value would become four if we sum it up our minimum price value would be 15 but in case you reverse it then our value basically becomes something like this if it's If we sorted sorted our array in say ascend uh, ascending order two five and six so this would be two five and this would become twelve so our total price would become nineteen which would be a lot large amount so here we could understand that we have to sort our list in descending order so let's do it c equal to sorted 
say equal to reverse equal to true here will be summing our cost so that's we initialize our variable cost variable we will create a loop for i in range and we'll be do looping in the list of the flowers so it would become zero to length of c if i percentage k means once the entire already to both of the customers have already purchased it then we would be incrementing our iter x by one so and we will be summing our summation of the cost multiplied by c of i as you could see this is our code so reason for using iter x equal to minus one is basically during the first instances the value of i would automatically become zero so zero percentage anything would become zero so with at the first instance the iter would become one sorry it would become zero and at the same way when both of the customers have purchased iter value would keep on increasing that would mean that the flower is been increasing the price. This is the basic idea. Let's run the code. It passed all the public test cases successfully. Let's submit the code. As you could see, <clears throat> all the public and private test cases have been completed successfully. As we always keep on saying, if you have a better approach of solving the same problem, comment below and send me your feedback so that I could keep on improving. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned.